I do take requests. This one comes from my dear friend, the man standing behind the camera, Will Bly, a photojournalist extraordinaire. This is what he wanted to eat, so this is what I'm making. This is perfect for all you carnivores and people who might want to get a little more veggies into their life. Um, we've got a steak, a garlic butter steak bites with zucchini noodles. Uh, doesn't take a lot of work. A little bit of time, it's got to marinate the steak. Um, we're using a sirloin here. I also bought frozen uh, zoodles. I normally make my own. This is my first foray into buying frozen. Um, first things first, we cut up. We got about a pound and a quarter um, of uh, sirloin, um, but first we have to make our sauce. So basically soy sauce, about a tablespoon of olive oil, juice of half of a lemon, some sriracha, and some fresh cracked black pepper. So now we've cut up our meat into little bite-sized chunks. We're gonna toss it in here. It's gonna marinate for about 15 to 20 minutes, but in that time you can make your zoodles, you can cut up your herbs, get all of that ready to go. So we've let our steak marinate for about 15 minutes or so, and now it is time to saute it. And you may have to do this in batches because you don't wanna overcrowd the steak in here. You wanna give it space to breathe so it will get browned because if you put too much in there, it's gonna steam it. And, and that's, you don't want that. That is not gonna be, give you that flavor Okay, so we've browned all of our steak bites here. Um, and now we've added a little bit of butter and some garlic to the pan, really to make our, our sauce here. And we'll throw the steak bites back in in just a second. Get all that yummy sauce in there. Just make sure you're using a bowl or a lipped plate because we're gonna clear this out of here again. Um, so we can saute the rest of everything in the same pot. So that's, that's pretty nice. Now it's time to really make our sauce for these steak bites. Um, we've got one more tablespoon of butter. We're gonna put that in there, uh, get that melted. We have a quarter cup of beef broth, the other half of our lemon that we used for the sauce. Squeeze that in there. Some crushed red pepper. Oh, we also wanna put the rest of our marinade in there. So, toss that in. And we're gonna let that simmer for a little bit. It's got to thicken up. Uh, and then we will get our zoodles in there, add the steak, and everything will come together in just a couple of minutes. Our zoodles, you know, two full packages seem like quite a, kind of a bit when you, when you pull them out, but it really, even four different zucchinis, throwing those in there, it's not going to amount to much. Um, we're going to add our herbs as well. So we've got about a teaspoon of fresh thyme, tablespoon of parsley. Um, and now it's just time to reheat that steak. So throw the steak with all of the good juices in there. Just get everything mixed up, heat it up. Again, this is perfect if you're kind of doing the low carb, if you're doing keto, um, great way to get the vegetables in there, but also keep those meat eaters happy. Um, so lots of flavor. Will 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 be the judge. This one's for you, my friend. Um, if you have any requests, like Will, or uh, you just want this recipe, you can always head to our website, 9in10news.com. Bon appetit.